Hey witch, welcome back to my channel. My name is Matt and we finally made it to Charlotte. Look at this natural lighting though. Oh my god, so juicy. So I'm having my fourth cup of coffee. What are you drinking? Let me know. So if I'm a little squirrely, that's why. <laughs> Although it tastes kind of burnt because it's been on the coffee pot for like three hours. Gross. So we're in Charlotte finally, so I'm gonna give you guys a little apartment tour and then we're finally going to do my altar setup video. But there's actually um, three potential, three? I always do that. There are actually um, three potential spots that I have in this apartment for altars. So I'm gonna kind of give you a little brief tour of the apartment so you can see like the different spaces that I'm thinking about. And then we're actually gonna jump into like the actual setup video and I'm gonna kind of explain my process and like why I place certain things in certain areas and all of that good stuff. So let's get right into the apartment tour without wasting too much time. Okay, so right off the bat we have my front door. How exciting, cool. Drink what you want. This is our little island, this is the kitchen. Um, super cute. I love that. The only thing I will say is that it doesn't have an oven, it just has that little convection oven, so that's like a work in progress. I don't know how to use that. <laughs> and over here we have the cute litter box, yum. My business setup with all of my stuff for making my tarot bags and that kind of stuff. All my craft stuff is in this box. And then, yeah, that's all the interesting stuff. So here we have my altar mess. This is actually the first um, area of the house that I'm thinking about putting an altar. I'm not thinking about it, I'm going to put one here. This one um, down here is gonna be my working altar, so it's gonna be dedicated to the sun. And then upstairs I'm gonna have my moon altar dedicated to like dreams and that kind of stuff. So this is the giant ass couch. We don't have friends, so it's a lot of couch for two people. <laughs> Sabrina is currently lounging in the sun like she has been doing for the past three days since we moved here. Same with Salem, she's just chilling in her little box. And we can finally have plants, oh my god. And then, okay, can we talk about this giant ass window? It is so cool. But um, we don't have the best view. Um, there's a porta potty, so that's cute. <laughs> but I'm definitely not complaining. I love the natural lighting in here, and this apartment is just beautiful. I can't take it. I literally feel like I'm living in a magazine. Oh, cute. Cleaning supplies, hey. So there's the stairs leading up to the loft area. You can kind of see like the little sitting area up there. But I will take you up there. So let's go. So here is the first door is the closet. I'm not gonna show you that because it's just full of cardboard boxes. But the second door here is the bathroom. Hey queen. Oh. Here is the bathroom. We had to put all the plants in here because the cat tries to eat them. But um a big ass shower with a um, little seating thing in there. So cool. Moving on to the bathroom. I mean, bathroom. Whatever. Laundry. Here's the giant ass bed. Hallelujah. Okay, so I hope this is gonna work and you can see me and the altar at the same time. I know it's kind of an awkward setup right now, but we're just working with what we got. <laughs> You're currently sitting on a stool, so. Welcome to my house. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is take off all these tacky decorations. Is it beer 30 yet? No. Done. So the first thing that we need to do is cleanse it. So I'm gonna be using my Florida water and my juniper wand. So I'll be right back. Got it. Okay, so I have my juniper. So I'm just gonna light her real fast. She's not there yet. Okay, so we got our juniper and she's lit. So we're just gonna cleanse the space with the smoke. Get off all the ickies that came from other people because we don't like those. And just kidding, we love people, right? So that is sufficiently juniper. So we're just gonna stampy stampy her out and thank her for her service. Florida water. So I just have a little rag and I'm gonna put a little bit of the pour the water on it and just wipe down all of the surfaces that we'll be using. Not only does the Florida water clean the physical dirt, but it also cleans the metaphysical dirt. Okay, all clean. 
All right, so for the next part, I'm actually not quite sure of what all I'm gonna put on here. I know I wanna dedicate it to the sun. So I'm probably gonna put some solar herbs on here and also some like crystals. And I don't know if I'm gonna put books on this because it's not that big. I still don't know where to put all my books. That is my main hang up right now. I do have to say, just really quick, that it is so nice to have this private space to film these videos. I feel so comfortable here. And I can finally be loud and do whatever I want. Okay, so first things first, we need, I keep saying first, like we have done like how many steps already? <laughs> I don't know. But we need to have some candles on here. So we're gonna start with the candle holders and some crystals that I already have picked out for here. So. This is such just like an awkward kind of setup. I really like it, but I'm like still kind of confused at how it's gonna work. So we're gonna probably play around with it a lot. Um, but we'll start with the candle holder things first. So I think one. Is it weird to have them different levels like that? I don't really know. We're gonna we'll play with it. Shalam. So this is all the stuff that I'm kind of sorting through. I have all my boxes of my supplies back here And we're just kind of like pulling as we go All of this pretty much is This one. This one is pretty much all books and this one has all of my herbs in it. You can't tell because they're all wrapped in plastic but That's that So I don't think I'm gonna put all of my herbs on this just because I don't think there's enough space And I think we have to stack them sideways like down in this area and that just like Seems weird. It'd be hard to like dig through them and I don't know. But since this is a sun altar, I'm gonna be doing a lot of oranges and yellows and all that stuff. I love those colors, they're my favorite. I'm gonna start with some orange taper candles in here. I do want a little incense burner on here, so we're gonna put her up here. I'm also gonna put some of my lotus candle holders from places. I have my little herbal offering bowls that I have to put somewhere. Um, I'm gonna start with one for now. I do love to have candles everywhere, so I'm just gonna put so many. So normally I have my selenite spear and my quartz crystal ball together, but I think I'm gonna separate them this time for my son and then the moon altar upstairs. Um, so yeah, I am going to have my black tourmaline on my sun altar. That's looking cute so far, kind of maybe, hopefully. Alright, so as far as all my oils in my little jars, I'm gonna put those um, up here, I think. There's my oils! I think I'm also gonna have all my essential oils out this time. Last time I just kept them in this little box here, but I'm actually gonna put them on my altar this time so I can use them easily. So I'm gonna put those all down here. Essential oils! I have my butterfly wings. I don't even know if you can see those, but those are going on here as well. I have my little offering shot glass. I usually put honey in this or like some other, why am I, why am I doing this? I usually put like little offerings in here. Sometimes I'll put wine, sometimes like honey, but you know, it depends. Oh, I also have like my offering dish. I got this at the thrift store. It has a little crystal ring on it. So we'll put her down here. My orange slices that go everywhere with me. Right there, cool. More candles. I got these cute little star um, candle holders in Pennsylvania. I'm gonna be doing a um, Pennsylvania haul soon. I don't know when, but I have, literally have an entire box full of things that I got there, so I need to do that video soon. Is it safe to have a candle on this layer? I don't really know. Probably not. Is that too many candles? It looks, I don't like that. I don't know if I like that. So let's keep adding more. I think I like that better. What do you think? I think I've decided that I'm not gonna put all of my tarot decks out because that would be too many and I don't have the space for it. And also I just wanna like focus on the ones that I use the most. So those are the ones that are gonna be joining me in my little space here. 
I have a little piece of orange calci that I'm gonna put on here too. Palo Santo, can't forget that. Ooh. My cute little spell bag that my friend Mint made for me. Mint Fairy, check her out on YouTube, she's great. But I'm just kind of putting my Spell You Later tarot bags in this little corner over here because I don't know what else to put there, so. So if you would like a custom tarot bag for your own tarot deck, you can check out my Etsy shop. The link will be in the description. I actually just put up a custom options listing so you can like choose everything down from the fabric, the fringe, the charm, and the ribbon. Oh, also the satin lining inside too. It's gorgeous, you probably can't see that. And I just had a, a huge restock on my shop too, so if you, there was a bag that was sold out for a while, it's good chances are it's back up, so go check it out. I don't know if any of what I just said just made sense, but we're gonna go with it. My Sun Tarot card, I don't know what deck this is. Um, I think it's Celtic Fairies, maybe. But um, this was an incomplete deck that I found at the thrift store, and this was one of the cards in it, so I use it on my altar now. I'm going to be putting some of my incense cones down with my tarot decks because I don't know where else to put them. Some more tea lights because you can never have enough candles. I also have a bag of spell candles right here that I'm going to put down with the incense in this little bottom place. Cute. I don't know what stone this is, but if you're a crystal expert, let me know. But I always have it on my sun altar because it just feels right, you know? When it comes to like altar supplies, the thing I know least about is crystals. Like I have been collecting crystals since I was a kid, but I don't really know much about them because I don't tend to like work with them a lot in my actual practice. I do find that they make a lovely altar decor, but I tend to focus my practice more on like herbal magic and like intention oils and that kind of stuff and setting intention through like fire magic and all well, that good stuff. So I don't tend to use crystals too much, but they definitely do like boost the energy of my space, you know? This vintage key that I got in high school is always on my altar too. Put some pyrite and some more black tourmaline on my altar. I think that's just about that for this altar. Um, there's like a missing space right here that I really want to put something. I don't know what it'll be yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out as time goes. <laughs> so this is the final altar. I'm still gonna put something on this top shelf here, but I think I like how it is for now. Everything I could possibly need is within reach, so I really like that. Salem says hi. So we are officially upstairs beside my bed in where I'm gonna put like my moon sleep dream altar something something like that but I already have like my giant like 20 pound chunk of selenite on here and that's always beside my bed wherever I go um, but I don't always put an altar like right next to my bed but I thought it was a good space for it because there's so much room yeah you think okay so first things first I'm gonna put down this altar cloth I literally got this on Amazon when I was like fresh out of high school, I think. It's like 2011. Um, but I've literally had this for forever, but it has the three moons on it, so I'm gonna use that for my moon altar. Makes sense, right? I know. <laughs> so, get this lamp out of here first. Oh, I almost forgot to cleanse it. Let me go grab my Florida water and my juniper, I'll be right back. I have, I am so out of breath, girl. These stairs are killing me. But I have my juniper again, so we're gonna light that up. She's getting so tiny. Let me not burn it over the bed. But this was actually the first um, herbal one that I made myself with herbs that I harvested. Let's blow it right in my face. Ready, ow. Oh, next, time for Florida water. I'm gonna take my selenite off because it well, you study crystals, you know that selenite is dissolvable in liquid, so you don't want to get it wet. So we're just gonna 
And as I'm wiping, I'm just kind of like envisioning like the clearing of the energy. It's gonna be such a peaceful place to sleep and dream next to. <laughs> it smells so good. <laughs> Done. Okay, so we're gonna put our little altar cloth here. Perfect. Next, the selenite. Oh my god. Done. I have another selenite rod that will go on the second shelf. Cute. Next, I'm gonna have my selenite sphere on here. And then next, I have my little intense burner that's actually like a creamer thing. So we're gonna put her on here. And then I do have a second offering bowl. I don't know if I'll use one up here, but just in case, it doesn't hurt to have it. So I'll put that down there. Next, we have our big amethyst chunk. Give more candles. I probably won't be burning candles up here that often, especially not if I'm about to go to bed, but um, I just want to have them there, okay? I have my lapis lazuli skull that I'm going to put up here too. And a little thing full of crystals that we're also gonna put on here too. So I have my blue calcite for mental powers and like um, safe dreams and stuff. A whole bunch of different amethysts and some sodalite in different forms. Also some quartz crystal and some moonstone and a little black tourmaline piece too. I have two tarot cards that I'm going to put on this altar up here. Um, one is the Knight of Cups, and the Manta Ray is one of my spirit animals, so I have to include that. And then also the Priestess, because you know. And then I also really love to read in bed, so I'm going to have my copy of Drawing Down the Moon that I've been slowly reading over the course of this entire journey, so we'll keep her next to the bed too. And like drawing down the moon, perfect for my moon altar, you know? But that is about it for my moon altar upstairs. I'll kind of show you guys now what it looks like. So here is the final moon altar. So you can see my priestess there, see everything that I set up, all the crystals. So like I said, I probably won't be burning these candles up here a lot, especially like that close to the lamp, like that would definitely catch fire. But um, there's the stuff down there. I'm probably gonna put more books up here, honestly, because I don't have any other space for them. But that's about it for my altars. Um, so that is about it for my altar tour video. Um, if there is any other kind of video that you guys want me to make, um, I would be more than happy to, so just let me know in the comments what you want me to do next. I'll be having another pick a card reading coming very soon. I already have it planned out. And then I am also gonna have my Pennsylvania like witchy haul coming very soon too. I already have all the stuff for that obviously because I already bought it. Where was I going with that? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> but this video is going to be so long already, so I'm not going to chat too much. But thank you guys for making it all the way to the end of this video. If you did, you guys are the best. Um, who was crying? Oh, it was just Salem. Go figure. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So I will see you guys in my next video next Thursday. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that. But that is about all I have for today, so until next time, I will spell you later. <laughs>